Fan Mail Monday is ending. No homo. So if you guys have noticed or not noticed if you're not subscribed to me, I have been gone this entire week, okay? I actually have powers. Unlike normal Jesus that only rises after three days, I rise after an entire, what, week? Week and a half? <laughs> normal Jesus has nothing on these powers, boys. But being honest right now, um, I owe it to you guys to be honest, you know? I'm not gonna say everything because when it really comes down to it, it's no one's business uh, but my own what happened. But let's put it this way, I hit this point to where I didn't know if I wanted to continue doing Yu-Gi-Oh or YouTube. Seriously, didn't didn't think I was gonna continue with either. So, um, long story short, uh, I took a break. Um, along with everything else going on, took a break and uh, wanted to see if I even still wanted to do all this. So now with that out in the open, I'm really sorry to say guys, but um, you're stuck with me. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for a while, okay? What really happened, I mean, there's some other stuff that happened, I'm not gonna really talk about it, but what really happened and what weighed on my conscience, and I don't know how many of you guys still have a conscience these days, you know, with every how everything is, I don't know, I don't know how many people have consciences anymore, but I still have a conscience, okay? And um, I was I was looking at, um, I was looking at the, I seriously was looking at the fan mail, and uh, I just hit this point to where, um, you know, with everything that was going, that had been going on, um, I just hit this point where I was like, should I even open this? Should I, like, because if I'm not going to do this, I need to stop, you know, keep, I need to stop doing it. You know, I need, I, I need to stop, you know, leading people on like I'm going to keep doing yu gi for a while. You know, I need to stop being Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus if I'm not going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, you know? I needed, I'd like, I hit this point where I'm like, do I want to keep doing this or do I not want to? Really what it came down to is I just sat there and was like, do I want to do this with my life? Do I want to do YouTube with my life? Do I want to keep seeing where this goes? I mean, because when it comes down to it, I mean, I got bills to pay and stuff, guys. This is, this is real life stuff, you know what I mean? Um, I'm, I may be Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, but money doesn't grow on trees, sadly. And that's not one of my powers is to be able to, you know, make money up here. I have pretty lame powers, to be honest. But what I discovered this past week is that I seriously want to keep doing this. And how I know is because no matter how much I try not to think about Yu-Gi-Oh!, how much I try to clear my head and stay away from it, how much I just, you know, try to, you know, just really relax. I mean, I don't know how else to put this without giving away details or anything like that. But, um, I just hit this point to where, you know, even though I was away from the game, away from everybody, shut off my phone completely, um, I still kept thinking about Yu-Gi-Oh! And I still kept grabbing my laptop and, and playing, you know, hopping on YGO Pro and stuff. So, like, what that tells me, and I kept and I kept thinking about the fan mail and stuff. And, you know, I, I came back in here and I decided that I need, to, I need to keep doing this. This is what I want to do. And so, since this is what I want to do, um, I'm sorry for the absence, guys. I'm seriously sorry for the absence. I'm sorry, you know, but, but at the same time, I'm not sorry. I mean, you guys should be glad I was gone. You should be glad that I was able to take this time and figure out exactly what I wanted to do and what the channel is going to be looking like and going through in the future. And speaking of the future of the channel, this is where this is really going to begin, guys. So Fan Mail Monday is going to end, okay? Uh, the reason why is it's not really anything you guys did. It's really nothing. Like, I, I like doing Fan Mail. Like, I, it has nothing to do with anything you guys did or the post office has nothing to do with any of that. Really what it comes down to is like, I ha like it's just the, the amount of mail I get and like the length of time and takes to do it you know I mean my videos are sometimes like an hour and a half long or something like that's ridiculous or over an hour long at least easy you know so um, it, it gets really really difficult to uh, edit all that and all that stuff and um, you know and, uh, and I have trouble when I want to do a video over like YCS or regional results you know on a Monday after you know the you know we get the results of any YCS so I hit this point where it's like oh I want to do this video on a Monday but I can't because I have to do mail on Monday or you know or maybe not even YCS maybe something happens you know and I just have I want to do a video that Monday, but I can't because the mail takes so long. So what I'm going to start doing, guys, is I'm going to start just the normal thing where I open up mail every single Monday, okay? Um, I'm going to open up every single Monday, pre-record all of it, just like how I normally do. But what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start putting the mail openings uh, spread across the videos. I'm going to start trying to do more videos as well. But why this is a big, big announcement is not just because of, you know, Fan Mail Monday going away and like the restructuring of all my videos in general, which you guys will see. Um, is in fan mail being a part like I said before like fan mail like the mail you guys being able to stay in touch with me You know, uh, you know send me stuff or for me 
to you know send you stuff. Um, you know that like I said in fan mail, fan mail Mondays in the past, that is not going away, and that is me keeping. This is me right now keeping that promise. The PO box is going to stay open. It's paid for. Seriously, paid for for the entire year already. Paid for it. Done. It's open, guys. It's open. PO box one three nine one is going to be open, guys, for for the foreseeable future. So that really is what the good news here is. Is that as far as that goes, as far as that's concerned, nothing's changing. You guys will still be able to send me stuff just like you can send me stuff right now, you know. Uh, but uh, what will be changing is just the way that I do it. You know, fan mail Monday's ending, but I mean the way, but the mail itself isn't ending. So in other words, guys, I'm gonna try to still open up everything that I can on camera. Okay, I must try to like me between all the other videos of the week. You know, between seven days of the week, I'm gonna try to um you know just distribute you know all the time just distribute everyone's mail and by me opening it all at the same time on Monday or just like you know opening it all at the same time in general and then like piecing it out I'm able to like you know get everyone's stuff back to them around the same time too so to me it's like a win-win situation like you guys still get your cards back at the same time you know if you send me cards to sign and then I get to still you know open your mail and stuff which is always really fun for me I seriously love doing that um, so I still get to open your mail and um, I get to have an extra video slot so for me to me I think this is all just a one giant win 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 except for you know being gone uh, this entire week which I am aware of the new Cyber Dragon League monster I know guys I know and it's been killing me and I'm aware of the OCG man list of stuff I am aware of this stuff okay it's killing me I gotta play some catch up and stuff I'm not gonna spend the whole week playing catch up though I might skip over some video topics and just just let them slide I'm not gonna lie but um long story short here guys um today is going to be fan mail Sunday I guess I seriously had so much stuff this week like a billion billion million things which made it even more difficult to like leave it you know leave the mail here all week and stuff because oh my gosh so much mail guys so much mail so much that I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to open it all today so uh, the mail that doesn't get open today guys you know in this fan mail Monday Sunday thing so this is gonna be like the last normal fan mail video I think um, and then um, or maybe we'll do one more a normal fan mail video I haven't decided yet but eventually the fan mail Monday is going to be is gonna be over and I'm just gonna be doing mail um, at the end of all my videos pretty much so once again guys thank you all so so much for watching and, and, and uh, supporting the channel and just everything you guys do for me that is basically everything that I wanted to say get out there you know just to inform you guys of what's been going on and everything like that but without any further ado let's get into this fan mail all right you guys we have so much to open though i mean so much to open i mean so much that i'm not even gonna put it on here for the video thumbnail or anything and i haven't even went to the post office since i went this last monday so i don't even know how much more stuff's gonna be there right now oh my gosh but we have to get all this open guys we have to get all this open but before i get all this open i need a jesse holmes i need a jesse holmes to um to message me with their address because even though you wrote down your own address um, I don't know how you managed to get this back to me I don't I don't I have no idea so there's gonna be cards in here that are signed for me and um, even though he addressed his own uh, his own envelope I, I, I have no idea how you messed that up if you guys are new to fan mail on the channel I do sign cards for people but um, I have you address and stamp your own envelope in with your cards so I just drop the cards in after I sign them and they go back to you and since you wrote your own address down I have complete confidence that they actually get back to you except for some cases like this one where something still happens so Jesse um, please send me a message so I can get your cards back Okay, found my scissors. Um, this one is from an Anthony uh, Ochoa. Ochoa, by the way. So that is who this is from. Let's crack this open. So we have a Batman. Oh, this guy. You know what? I was actually expecting this. Uh, uh, believe it or not, someone sent me a message. They were like, hey, be sure to send me that Batman tin back. <laughs> I didn't know what they were talking about, but now I know what you're talking about. You, you actually sent a Batman tin. Okay, definitely, definitely. We'll make sure to get it back to you. And yeah, because especially because you, you provided your packaging, dude. Like, easy, easy, easy done. So, um, if you guys did not know, like, what I was talking about earlier about, you know, um, sending mail back, you know, getting cards back signed to you. If you guys want anything returned back to you just in, in general, um, you know, include proper packaging in with your stuff and you will absolutely get it back. So, um, let's go ahead and open this up, though. Let's see. I mean, there's nothing else in here. I mean, I mean, is this like, I mean, is this, oh, this, there is something in this. Okay. So there's this envelope. Oh, that makes so much sense. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's so sweet. He drew, oh, that is really detailed. I have another one behind me, uh, by the way, another cyber dragon, but that is really cool. This one's really, really detailed. That is awesome, dude. Thank you so much for that. 
Um, so um, let's go ahead and read this though. See what my instructions are with this tin. So hey, Yugi Noto, yes, yes, sometimes, sometimes, father. I have been watching your videos literally every night. Yes, I have dick slapped the shit out of the like button. Uh, since my work is pretty slow, I have uh, time to just sit back and watch YouTube, scroll through eBay and TCG for cards to add to my collection. I was looking into the new Legendary Duelist set and saw this card in an opening, so I looked it up and found out that it was a reprint of a card only printed as a promo for the Yu-Gi-Oh! video game. Oh, as to which one, I'm not exactly sure. And Dark Beginning 2, uh, what, what card are you talking about, though? Um, I, I was going to send, oh, so, but he's not, okay, anyways. Um, if you want to, uh, if you want, you can open it now. I will have labeled it, hopefully. Um, so uh, this card is, uh, is for you to keep. Well, thank you. Um, let's see what what this is. So there's a what what, what is this zomp? <laughs> what color is this? Okay, so whoa, dude. So keep. So he did label. What card is he talking about? So this is keep. But is this the card? Oh, dude, blue eyes, white dragon. No, I don't think that's the card he's talking about, though. I don't know why I just turned that back around. But I don't know what card you're talking about, actually. I really, really don't. Um, I try to keep up with you know reprints and stuff every set, but you know. There's a lot to remember when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. We'll find out what card he's talking about in a minute. But um, I don't think I have uh, seen anyone send you one or seen it in your collection so far, so hopefully I'm the first. I really hope you enjoy it. I know it will feel right at home in the arms of our Lord, yes, Lord and Savior, Yugi Jesus. Maybe add to the Larvae Moth Binder, question mark. Uh, so I wanted to give a, uh, give a shout out to your uh, sweet motionless and white poster. I saw it in your challenge accepted video and lost my shit as we uh, have something in common in regards to our music taste. Actually, I don't listen to Motionless. I do listen to Motionless, um, but uh, Motionless is my girlfriend's band. Like, she loves, loves, loves Motionless. She actually, that poster you're talking about is actually signed by the whole band. Not even kidding. Uh, she went and met them, had them sign all of her, uh, you know, she made fan art for them and, like, had them sign, like, a bunch of stuff. She got, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, like, that poster you're talking about, signed by the whole band. So I don't know if you're going to fangirl over, <laughs> over that, too, but I could go, if you want to fangirl, go ahead. Like, I have a poster signed by whole, yeah, yeah all Motionless and Light in my house. Yeah, I do. Um, and it's really cool. Um, I'm, like, I like the band. Um, they're not my favorite. I'm into the heavier stuff. You guys know me. You know, I'm into the, you know, especially like the classic stuff. You know, I'm really, a really, really big Pantera fan. But yeah, Motionless and White, pretty good band. Um, uh, my girl, more, more of my girlfriend's alley, you know, but yeah, they're pretty good. I also sent a couple of cards for you to sign if you wouldn't mind. It would be fucking rad. Green sleeves. Um, I will absolutely sign stuff. Um, if it would be all right um, with you, could you please shout out my YouTube channel on here? I do pack openings and collection videos, but I'm just starting out and don't don't really know how to get uh, out there with my videos. Any suggestions of uh, upload all the time? Basically, the opposite of what I did this whole week. <laughs> you know, but I, of course, I had stuff come up. Uh, but like, um, so uh, basically, do what I normally do, but better. Let's put it that way. <laughs> put, it, put it that way. And you'll, and you'll definitely just. Long story short, work very, very hard and don't give up. And whatever, if you just keep working at whatever you're working at, it will happen for you. If you put the work into it and just believe and don't give up, um, everything. Will, like hard work pays off guys hard work really does pay off um, any suggestions so that that would be my suggestion um, my channel's name is paradox dogma so yeah there's your shout out uh, paradox dogma absolutely I'll shout out like any of you guys channels like any of you guys that write I will shout all of you guys out because I seriously support anybody who wants to try to do YouTube anybody who wants to you know try to make this game a living for themselves or at least you know try to make their hobby pay for themselves I'm completely completely supportive of that because I mean hey let's not, that's exactly how I got started it was like just trying to make you know this expensive ass hobby pay for itself <laughs> like really when I'm starting I mean there's a lot of different reasons why I started but that was just kind of like something that I discovered as I went along I was like hey I can actually buy cards with the money okay <laughs> you know but um anyways uh, thank you man for all that you do in the Yu-Gi-Oh community you're welcome uh, I haven't been the best example this week but uh sincerely your friend Anthony the other one aka Paradox Dogma a uh, PS I watched the interview with CBIT this morning I'm still confused if Eugene is a real person or if you play both characters uh, Eugene is my twin brother. Uh, PPS, I uh, ordered the cards as of today, February uh, 21st, and they pop, and they won't be here till about February 28th. Oh no! At the soonest, you probably won't be reading this until March. Uh, uh, March. Sorry, no, it's completely fine. Uh, PPPS, I saw Alex uh, ki kidnapped. Troll your uh, over. Troll you over. Started at Kaiba Blue Eyes. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, that guy. Uh, what a douche. Um, in December, I shall, I shall, uh, atone for his sins, father. Open this blue sleeve now like a boss. Oh, I ruined it. I, I opened the one. I opened, he was trying to surprise me with that blue eyes. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. 
Dude, I'm so sorry. I was trying to find the card you were talking about. I had, like seriously had no idea. Like no, and I, I still I still don't know what card you're talking about. But dude, a Cyber Dragon. Uh, so this one I need to keep track of these. So that is keep. So we'll keep track of like which ones um, I need to send back, of course. So Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Ooh, that's a first dead one. That is a mint first ed red eyes darkness dragon boys that is pretty sweet i actually really love that card that card takes me way back that is really cool um what else you got uh, blue eyes white dragon of course and then what else we have um, oh perfectly ultimate great moth freaking busted Perfect. oh that must be the card he's talking about that must be the card yes that's that's gotta be that duh i should have known that duh that's what he's talking about the legendary collections perfectly ultimate great moth it, it, it was a game boy game yes exactly duh duh yes okay because perfectly ultimate great moth is this 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 game boy rarity that's like that's it and they reprinted it in that um what is it? Ancient Millennium, uh, the legendary duelist Ancient Millennium, the one I opened not too long ago. Yes, absolutely. Dude, yes, thank you so much for that, by the way. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, and now I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh my gosh, I'm like so out of it, though. I'm so out of it. I need to catch back up. Uh, so, Red Eyes, Black Dragons, there it is. Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Very, very cool. And then Aether, the Heavenly Monarch. Erebus, the Underworld Monarch. And then this one says keep oh perfectly ultimate great moth that's what he's talking about so yeah so this one these say so the ones in the blue sleeves say, say keep gotcha so yes dude blue eyes white dragon thank you so 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 much for these dude i will definitely add this to the uh, second larvae moth binder because i have two of them now one of them is completely larvae moths and the other one's like the petite moths cocoons uh great moths perfectly ultimate great moths you know all the other stuff but once again thank you so 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 much for writing dude i will be sure to sign all these back to you put them in this tin and get them right back your way thank you so so much again this next one is from a cody a cody hansen i think that says it's hard to read that last name but cody cody someone so let's open this up and see what this is oh my gosh what is all this whoa whoa guys guys whoa what is all this okay so oh, that's a lot of cards that's like a lot of cards um, dear Yugi Nono, I have sent you 18 more custom packs. Oh, I remember this guy! Yes, I have sent you 18 more custom packs for you to open on camera. Feel free to do whatever you want with what you pull. Uh, there are 10 cards in every pack. You are guaranteed one rare card and one foil card per, per pack. This guy this guy has sent cards before. He's insane. Uh, you have about a 1 in 3 chance at pulling an ultra rare or better and a 1 in 9 chance at pulling a secret rare or better. Gold rares and Zodiac and Draco cards are... Um, are Something are uh, all is low rarity for uh, I can't read his writing, but it's, it's a low rarity foil, aka secret rare. So I think Zodiac and Draco cards count all count as a low rarity or, or super rare. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, so in other words, if you if you pull an ugly gold rare or a secret rare Z uh, Zodiac card, don't worry, these don't count as one of the uh, higher rarities. Just consider them to be duds. Okay, these packs were randomly selected or targeted, as it's now uh, as it's now called. Uh, so I honestly don't. Uh, don't know what you are going to get sweet um if i wish you uh, wish you luck on your on your i wish you luck on your something uh, your beans infestation oh i already got him um if you have or not already dealt with with it by the time you get this letter uh, hopefully you won't uh, pull any more from the packs uh, pull any any what pull any more from the packs oh pull he, will, he says hopefully i will pull any more like beans from the packs he said gotcha twisted and necromancer yes this guy yes that i was trying to remember his, his screen name twisted necromancer i don't know how i forgot that but yes this guy um he has sent packs before um i'm actually gonna open these uh since i have I just have so, so seriously, like so much other stuff to open today. And I'm, you know, obviously I'm like way, way behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these in a separate video. I'm actually gonna put these into this note um, with the other pack. So I'll remember to explain uh, the rules of the rarities and stuff like the pool ratios and everything in that video. Dude, thank you so, so, so much. I'll get that video made sometime soon so you can see it. Thank you so much for sending the packs. I, seriously, I'm not even gonna peek at these. I'm gonna make these into a separate video and that's that's a killer, killer idea. Thank you so much for sending again. This next one is from Joe Abad. Our tier two fan mail champ, or his, his that's his self titled uh, title. By, by the way, that's the title he gave himself. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Joe Bazia is our tier two fan mail champ. Uh, I don't know, man. man my, fa my fans are crazy, guys. They're just, you got you guys are nuts. <laughs> You're all crazy. Uh, so he's got, is that it? Yeah, that is it. Yeah, no, that one. So let's see what he has to say this week. Coon! <laughs> Coon and friends! 
<laughs> That's awesome, Andrew. You like the garment thing. Yuki Pro Man, bro, man you were kidding. Um, playing a, a set on Dueling Book literally takes an eternity. Yes, I told you. Like, like Dueling Book's really great if you want to learn. Like, if you want to play, like, really good players. Like, go into ranked and, like, just play in ranked and Dueling Book. You'll play a lot of really good players. But the thing is, um, one match will take you three days. Literally, I'm not even joking. So, so um, I also started doing the uh, random different uh, shuffle method you suggested for my solo play testing, and it does really help randomize the hands. Yeah, um, and my theory behind that is because, you know, not everyone cuts in the middle, so I had this habit for a long time where I always, you know, would shuffle, pile shuffle, you know, etc., and I will just always, you know, cut my... I still do it, like, just out of habit to this day, just cut my decks in the middle and then draw five cards and see, you know, what my hand is. But it's also good to practice, like, different cuts because you never know, you know, people cut different ways. Like, you know, sometimes if I, like... Some Sometimes when I'm being like just a troll, like when someone has me cut their deck, I'll just take like the top card and put it on the side and like put their deck on top. <laughs> like I, I do that stuff sometimes, just to troll people, just to see them go like, what are you doing? <laughs> But um, yeah, like so, it just it just helps. It just helps. Like I'm I'm really glad it worked for you, though. I'm really glad it worked for you. I have I have to dig through my common tens to uh, find the dry uh, to have Eugene sign. And since he, here in Jersey, uh, we're supposed to get a pretty a pretty bad snowstorm, and I had to get this out uh, asap to ensure my place as ruler of Pandelma Days Tier Two. You have no idea how excited I was to um to hear you. Eugene is also a huge fan of South Park. It's like my favorite show. Uh, literally my favorite show. <laughs> <laughs> like literally the next sentence you guys literally my favorite show i know it's hard um but uh, what are some of your favorite episodes um actually you know that episode uh, i was just talking about this to my girlfriend just the other day that episode um i don't remember what the what the episode's called um but it's the one where stan is like walking around and like um all, and, like he just sees like everything is is shit like it's like literally just a pile of shit and, like he wants to like you know like the things that he used to and stuff and he likes to you know like he wants so bad to like hang out with his friends or whatever he was doing but like he just like looks around and like everything's like just crap <laughs> like it's literally crap uh that's that's my favorite episode i think right now it's like it's it's very 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 good and that's it's really relatable that's very very relatable for me it always changes but the coon episodes never get old or when cartman uh favorite character kills all of his toys and has a bag of pie uh, yeah yeah for clyde frog's funeral that was pretty good um yeah like uh the coon episodes never get old the imagination land the imagination Nation Land ones are pretty funny. Uh, the one where, where Kenny dies and he's like in heaven, like commanding like the armies of heaven, like you know, with this PSP or whatever, that was pretty funny. Like, I've seen them all, and like, my, like I like the one where like they're, they're battling with the big tobacco company, you know, like Rob Reiner and stuff. Like, I like the old ones a lot. Um, I, I don't know, man. I, I've seen so many South Park episodes, and I like them all for like different reasons and stuff. Like, just the just the uh, this the satire, just the social satire is so good. It's so good in that show. I just I love it so much. Too many amazing episodes to name. I agree. Uh, also, any tips for side decking? Yeah, um, always try to find uh, cards like in multiples of three to side out. Like, uh, uh, how do I explain that? Uh, so, for example, in my um, like that, this is like once again, everyone side decks different and stuff. And you know, you could take out individual cards like. Whatever, basically whatever card you take out, make sure that whatever card you put in its place works with the deck. Um, that's a really good side decking rule. Um, in the, I like to side multiples of three a lot. Um, it's just kind of what I do. Like for example, um, in a Herald, um, you know I play three Gale Dogra in it, and um, but the deck can function just fine without Gale Dogra. So in uh, plus against like Trick Stars and stuff, you don't want to pay you know three to six thousand life points off a of Gale Dogra. So you'll side out the Gale Dogras and you'll put in like literally three cards of whatever else you want. You know, like if you're going against Trick Stars, like I was just talking about, you put in three Hanawata. Going against like something like I don't know, like True Draco, put in like Game of Seals so you can get like around Masterpiece or you know just whatever. Like you know just uh, um, take out like um, either take out three cards of your deck that are just kind of like extra you know what i mean extenders or something like that and put in something else or you just whatever long story short just whatever you take out um make sure that the card in your side deck is you know you're able to just immediately put that in and have your deck function 100 how it was functioning before i don't really know how else to word that it's something you kind of have to figure out for yourself but uh anyways though thank you for always answering our questions and in general um i know you thank us um thank us a million times but we also have to thank you as always i'll dick slap that like button just Joe, Joe Abazia, ruler of uh, tier tier two fan mail Monday. A P.S. This letter has been sponsored by Coon and Friends. <laughs> dude, killer letter, dude. You seriously write some of the best letters I get, dude. I hope you continue to reign on as tier two fan mail Monday. The, the champion of tier two fan mail. How does that even work? So if, if Bushka and Kantos are like the tier one and you're the tier two, then who's the tier three? Like, how does this even work? You guys make this up as you go, okay? And I just go along with it, literally. <laughs> but, but, like, explain to me how this works in the, in the next letter. Later, the next letter or the one after like I would real I'm really interested to see how you guys 
have this figured out. But let's go ahead and go to the next one. This one's from a uh, Lewis um, something, L Lewis uh, Duke, Duque. I'm not sure he, how you pronounce that last name, but Lewis somebody. Let's see what he has to say today. So that is everything out of that. We have the seal of Wari Calcos. That is pretty sweet. And that is the return envelope. So I think I'm gonna be signing all these. That's pretty cool. So, hey, what's up, Yugi Nono? Name's Lewis. I've watched your videos for quite some time now, and I only now decided to sub to you. I don't know why I never did a while ago, but hey, at least I have now. I really don't have anything else to say except uh, that I've, uh, for the last year and a half, have gotten back into Yu-Gi-Oh! after I'd say a five year break right now. I'm trying to build a good Pendulum Magician deck as Pendulum cards are my absolute favorite card type, uh, yet I don't know um, why and the deck just seems uh, like it was uh, made for me. Like uh, Pendulums, I like Pendulums a lot because I like how the extra deck stacks. Like I, I seriously do miss like Pin 5, I don't really, like when it comes to, I don't know, when it comes to Pendulums, I don't. I haven't really gotten into them like after Master Rule form man it's just not the same i miss like stack your extra pin five like i really do and it's like seeing what board you could make i kind of do miss that but i but at the same time though like oh it was degenerate <laughs> it was really really degenerate but yeah i get what you mean with, with, with pendulums they are really fun um i like i, I would love it if, uh, if you could sign the cards i've sent to you as uh they all have a special meaning to me and it would only be a right if they were blessed by the Yu-Gi-Oh god himself first is re uh, first is respect play which is uh, which is i'm pretty sure one of my first Yu-Gi-Oh cards ever i've had it for a very long time as you can tell by the card itself then ice princess uh, uh zero or so what card are you what cards are you talking about Ice Princess something or another. Uh, oh, so they're all in this one. Uh, Ice Princess uh, Zero. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero. That's that's what it is. Like this one, the uh, rank five. Uh, today, it takes two uh, level five wing wing beasts. What does this even do? Talking about monster opponent controls. Tax comes zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the, uh, yeah, that's what it does. The Ice Princess and Shark Caesar are the first X Seize cards I ever got. Next, Teller Knight Zephra is one of my of the first Pendulum cards I ever got. Ultimate Tyrano and Va Vampire Lord were just badass to me as a kid. And Vampire Lord is really cool. I like Vampire Lord to this day because it's really good. That's like, cool to play and like try to build decks around it in goats. It's really fun. Um, and lastly, the Seal of Ori Calicos means so much to me. Me too. I, uh, I won't get into why as this uh, letter is long enough, but uh, just so just know it means a lot to me uh, i hope you have a great day so see you next time see you next time dude i hope you have a great day too thank you so 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 much for writing um i will definitely sign all of your cards and get them back your way i would sign them on camera oh yeah that's another thing i forgot to explain earlier i do i do sign cards on camera sometimes but like we have so much stuff today that i'm, I'm not gonna sign anything on camera and just like bog down the video even more even though i'm bogging down the video right now i'm just gonna say dude i will definitely sign all of your stuff and send them back your way thank you so so much for writing but speaking of our tier one fan mail monday champs uh, let's let's not do one from anthony cantos backside so this starts off with rest in peace jerry the mean was three months old you monster how could you just because they were a little crazy does not mean you had to kill them <laughs> he's talking about all the jerry beans that killed in my house now that i got that that off my chest dear the king of d the d stands for dick slap you're right i was trolling you last week i never wanted a play set of shut and Chub crush cards. I want a play set of Shun and Trump Cyber Stallions. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Also, I was doing a little bit of testing on Dueling Book, and I decided to tech in a bad card for the lols, so I can't, so I can uh, channel my, uh, so, so I can channel my inner uh, Yugi Nono. That's right, I have answered the most forgotten question on the channel. Um, <laughs> I, main, I main decked a kunai with fucking chain. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no, you don't bring that back. Oh no. <laughs> Questions on the back backside. Anyways, I'm sorry for all the all, all the, um, the the uh, the yelling I've done in this letter. I'll make it up to you with these questions. Uh, do you like dogs or cats more? Oh, dogs by a million miles, dude. Um, question number two: uh, Thoughts on Legendary Collection Kaiba as a whole? I think it's pretty good, and I do like that Lajin reprint because you guys know me in a 2002 format. Um, question number three: Do you um, watch uh, My Hero um, Academia? No, I don't. Um, question number four: I tried using Call of the Haunted to bring back the uh, Jerry, the King Bean, but it's not working. It's because you broke the circuit. Yeah, that's exactly why I broke the circuit for everybody. So cards only come to life in my house. 
I'm really sorry. But, <laughs> well, I'm done here and just want to say thank you for doing this for an entire year as of last week. I uh, look back and see my letter letters have evolved and uh, miss my glory days as fan mail Monday champ. But the cards are yours to keep. And once again, thank you. Thank you. Uh, P.S. You're, you're right. I was looking through my bulk and found um, three common monster reborns. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. Uh, PSS, uh, hi, Joe Abazia. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry he said, he says, I love, you guys are crazy. I love you guys so much. Uh, dude, thank you so much for writing again. Um, this, this is just amazing. Um, you know, I have done this for over a year. Um, like, I don't know. Like, I mean, it is going to change, you know, because I'm going to be doing this, you know, in like uh, daily videos now or like are trying to cram them into daily videos. But yeah, um, it's just. I don't know. I just started doing it and you know wanted to see what you guys would send me like I just I originally started it was like um, Send me your fan art and then I don't know when it evolved to just send me whatever the hell you want But it quickly evolved into that But, but um, dude, oh magical Android dude. That's cool. That's from the uh, legendary collection 5ds Oh, dude all this stuff. Oh my gosh like a go yo guardian dark uh, uh, dark Gardex the cutic, uh, cubic beast XZ uh, XYZ dragon cannon XY dragon Dragon Cannon and XZ Tank Cannon. Dude, thank you so, so much for sending. Thank you so much for writing. As always, dude, thank you just so, so much. And you're, you are very welcome for doing this all the time. There's just I, I like doing it as much as you guys do. I really do. All right, let's open up this thick envelope next. <laughs> Brandon Deacon. Oh, I know this guy. I know this guy. Let's see what he has to say this time. Oh my gosh, like how many cards are you going to send to me, dude? <laughs> this guy's envelopes are thick, boys. They're thick. Oh my gosh. So that is all out of that. Uh, lots of cards, dude. So many cards. So, uh, Yugi Nona, hope you are doing well. Better now. Uh, so this is a follow-up mail uh, from my last fan mail I said uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, not going to be a super long letter as I know your fan mail videos have been getting longer and uh, longer and more to do in them. Yes. Um, everything in here is for you, is for you um, as my gift to you. Oh, thank you. Uh, please open them in, in order uh, that they are numbered on the top loaders. Okay. I uh, can't wait for your reaction to these beauties. Just a heads up, this is not all the ones I want to send to you. Uh, there will be a few more coming in a couple weeks when I get uh, more ink from my printer. Okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to say, dude. Thank, thank you. Uh, but I did uh, have one question regarding Harold. Is there anything that I can run in place of Gale Dogra that will still allow for the deck to be consistent and the same power that it has with uh, Dogra? Yeah. Uh, just, uh, I guess, if you don't want to play Dogra, I would replace them with Manjus, probably, or something else. But like I was saying just like earlier, like the deck can function without Dogra. You can actually put in Archler Christie is there, or like one Archler Christie, rather, or like, or, I don't know. Just put in whatever. Uh, the point is, like, the way the deck is, like the sticks, chairs, the, uh, the design. Desires, the upstart, uh, the, you know, the, the pre-prep, prep, uh, you know, everything else, you know, you, you guys know the deck, like everything that's in the deck, with everything that's in the deck, like Gale Dogra is actually just kind of overkill, it's just like a consistency card to make sure that you always open up like really, really broken, you know, plus that, plus it lets you go into like Mrs. Radiant, do all the other bust combos in the deck, uh, you know, opens up, I mean, sorry, it, it, it lets you extend more in the deck, I should say, because it lets you go into Mrs. Radiant, uh, but like you can you can use um, Manju just as easily. It's not an Earth for Radiant, but if you play the Fluffle Engine, you always uh, end with a Bear in hand. Always when you resolve the Fluffle combo, like off of Wings, so you just use that Bear for um, for uh, Mrs. Radiant in the deck, which I do all the time when I don't get to draw Gale Dogger anyway. So um, yeah, you can use a Manju though because Manju kind of serves the same purpose. It's not as good because it only searches one, whereas uh, Dogger searches two. But at the same time though, Manju is a bigger body and you don't pay six thousand life points off of it so uh, I don't know I don't know but it didn't get a manju is not an earth like so I would say um banju is probably the best or um I don't know does something I don't know just pick pick your card but yeah probably manju <laughs> like play whatever you want though I personally have been trying out honest in the meantime of finding Gale Dogger yes uh, I like honest in the deck but I like it when I go second I don't like it when I go first so I don't main deck it um but you could I could see you main decking it like it's it's, it's just a fine card plus of course you know it's a light variant, so it's searchable in the deck anyway so it totally works uh let me know your thoughts on this if you would please uh also what is your thoughts on running uh Archler Christie in the deck <laughs> yeah like uh, Archler Christie is good in the deck um, so the way I uh, the Archer Christie is not bad. It's, it's really good. It's a really really good card, you know. Um, but like the why I don't run it is like I mean I run the way me and Sam built the Herald deck is we just built it for like. 100% maximum cons consistency, 100% maximum open up the same broken board as consistently as possible. You know, that's that's the goal of the deck is to open up that uh, two to three Herald, um, Ouroboros, uh, Mrs. Radiant 
every single time and still have you know six the gates in hand you know what i mean like that's that's the goal of the deck and then we just kind of kind of uh, you know quadrupled down on that when we built it and designed it um even this is you know is so going so far as to say okay go first and then side deck go second but it's kind of like what you have to do with decks sometimes it's just kind of like sacrifice that to you know achieve the deck's main win condition even further or to push that win condition like to force that win condition i don't know how to explain it um there's a lot of things in Yu-Gi-Oh, man that, that i would sit here i can sit here and talk about like all day but um we do not have the time for that, <laughs> for that. but yeah play whatever you want man uh best regards brandon deacon owner of cubbies custom field centers and tokens yes dude this guy makes me some really really uh, really sick stuff dude um so i'm supposed to open First, uh, open last. Okay, so last. Okay, I think that I think that's what he wants. So I guess let's uh, let's see what this is. So open first. <laughs> Herald of Perfection, reasoning and Lord Christia, Christian dude. That's really sweet. I actually, um, you know what? I actually have a, a and I've hoarded. I'm not gonna lie. I have a bunch of these gold rare reasonings. Uh, the reason why is because um, that's really funny. It's the reason why. The reasoning behind uh, why I have a lot of gold rare reasonings uh, laying around, and this is just another addition to that collection, is because I like to squeeze this card into decks because it's really good when you have decks with like varying levels and stuff. It's just a really good card, and this is technically max rarity for this card still, uh, unless I'm mistaken. So yeah, gold rare reasonings, uh, very really really good. Thank you so much, by the way. That is way sick. Dude, <laughs> and they're finally here. Yes, dude, I've been waiting. Okay, guys, 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 guys. Oh, <laughs> these are amazing. So um, he makes some really cool stuff. Um, I get, you know, you guys make me, like, all of you guys make me the coolest stuff. My fans make me the coolest stuff ever. But this is what's really sweet. Brandon Deacon makes custom, amazing field centers the beans and everything guys oh my gosh the beans the relinquished oh this is amazing this is so amazing this is just fantastic token dude these tokens are so sick oh my gosh wow dude and this this field center is sick dude oh my gosh that is sick like relinquished Toon World, that is so nostalgic. That's so awesome. I like all these tokens. You guys make me some sweet tokens. You really do. And these ones, yes, dude, the Infinity one, Cyber Dragon Infinity, and then another uh, Disgustable, Disgustable Field Center. And then see what this is. Last man, last. What is this? Oh <laughs> man. Ooh. Do you guys know what that is? Okay. Oh, okay. This is a proxy. This is, oh, this is a token. Okay. Okay. I about had a heart attack. I about had a heart attack because this is one of my favorite cards of all time. Um, this is a band. This is a replica. This isn't the real one. I wouldn't even be touching this right now if this was the real one. I wouldn't be touching this with my bare hands, guys. This is a replica of Bandai Swords Revealing Lights. This is one of the three rarest Bandai cards and some of the rarest Yu-Gi-Oh cards on the planet. Not even playing. Um, one of the three uh, rarest Bandai cards ever. Not in the, uh, you know standard blue uh, Bandai set that came out, you know, with the uh, Gate Guard, uh, not the Gate Guardian, sorry, uh, with uh, Sewage and Kazajin, Blue Eyes, Red Eyes, you know, etc., Monster Aborn, Time Wizard. Not not with all that, okay? This this was separate. This came out in a lottery in Japan in, like, 90, seriously, 1998. Um, the Swords of Revealing Light. Uh, if I remember, the Swords of Revealing Light's the hardest one to get out of that lottery or whatever. And these cards, like, the real Bandai card that I'm talking about, not this one, you know, because once again, this is a replica, but the real Bandai card, long story short, uh, for this card is, like, Seriously, like 2,500 to three grand a pop, guys. So, um, yeah, I lost, my, I lost my shit for a second because I seriously thought that someone had sent me one for a second and I was like, I, I couldn't accept it. Like, I was like, well, no. Like, <laughs> but this is seriously um, one of my favorite cards ever. Um, it's technically max rarity for uh, Swords of Revealing Light and the art on this is just beautiful, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Like, if you guys, so seriously, um, after this video or, you know, or another tab right now, um, look up Bandai Swords of Revealing Light and just look at them they look amazing dude they look so so sick but uh, uh cubbies custom field centers dude uh you get uh, of course uh, you know everyone who sends me stuff gets absolute free promotion on this on this segment dude uh, especially when you send me like all this cool stuff thank you so much for sending this this is an amazing amazing 
Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Thank you so much for making me this. Um, I'm not gonna lie, if you could make me a second one and send this to me so I could play another one, um, like two of these in my 2002 deck is like, you know, proxy um, Bandai Swords of Revealing Light, that would be really sweet because the art on these is just incredible. Um, once again, wish I had the real ones, but it's really, thank you so much. I'm speechless right now. Thank you so much for making this. This is so sweet. Um, it, I'm sorry that uh, it, like that seriously overshadowed the Jerry Beans. The Jerry Beans token is great. It is hilarious. I did notice it. Don't get me wrong. I did notice it, but this really, really blew me away. Thank you so much for making this, dude. Thank you so much for writing. Thank you so much for wanting to send more, dude. You're, you're, you're crazy. You're a madman. Thank you just so, so much again. Let's open up another package next. This one is from Don um, Albanito. Don Albanito. So we have a letter. What's in here? Whoo! A bunch of cards. Bunch of cards. And then this is, oh, so that is return. So yeah, this is also okay, guys. Can I, oh no, it's got their address on it, so I'm not gonna show that. But that is a complete other return package. It goes into what I was saying earlier, you know, sending proper packaging and stuff, make sure everything gets back to you guys. Once again, wanna keep reinforcing that because I hate getting things back to me because I'm just like, oh, you know, that makes me feel bad because, you know, when someone doesn't have their, I know, let's put it this way, I know like how upset I would be if I didn't get my cards back, you know, in a, in a timely manner. So it just makes me feel bad when stuff gets sent back to me and stuff, you know, I, I feel like people think I'm like keeping their cards or something, you know? I don't know. I don't know. It just makes me, this makes me uh, anxious, I guess. Uh, dear Yugi, no, no, I have not written before, and I only, uh, I've only been uh, introduced to the enigma that is your channel. Uh, uh, well, when I say uh, recently, I uh, mean more in the past couple of months. But being that, I can only uh, forge honest viewer-creator relationships over an extended period of time. I'd say me writing you with cards to sign is quite early and somewhat outside of my comfort zone. It is, however, apparent that I'd like to get some cards signed, so I uh, decided to take the risk and ship some of my favorite cards to you to get signed I only hope that USPS is gentle uh, they, they can be like I, since you put tracking on it I think you're okay but like I could tell you right now um you know with letters and stuff like you know um it's best to send like you know send cards on top loaders because um you know they aren't they don't the USPS, they just don't have like the best track record with envelopes and stuff, let's put it that way. At my locals, there's a group of four or five individuals that worship the Jerry Beans Man and have taken pseudo forms of the Jerry <laughs> associated colors, Jerry Green, Blue, Purple, Red, and Yellow. <laughs> You, you can't be serious right now. They consider themselves the Jerry Beads men, even though one of them is female, and, and even have a created custom Jerry tokens in their own image. So that is what we have in common, Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, we uh, have both experienced, or in some cases still experiencing, the epidemic of Jerry Beans. I bid you luck, as I highly doubt. Um, I'm like spitting all over this thing, man. I can't even talk today. I'm sorry I'm spitting over your letter, uh, but this is really, really funny. I bid you luck as I highly doubt the flood of fans sent Jerry Beans men has subsided. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm see, I see some stuff like TCG player and stuff down here, and I, I don't know. I'm, I'm scared to open them. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I am a little scared to open them. Move, moving away from the tangent, the enclosed cards, uh, uh, save the pack of keep me cards, are to be signed and returned. Uh, but be careful. A couple of cards enclosed have not uh, left sleeves since their original burst from packs okay uh, so i um uh, i so i only hope your Yu-Gi-Oh jesus hands are as gentle as the real thing as for um a more personal uh, approach i have come to enjoy your channel and your content i find your skits to be uh, the most entertaining as well as your fan mail mondays and meta discussions i also find your interactions between and yourself particularly uh, interesting extra eugene's my real uh, twin but uh, almost as if you were talking to a mere image of yourself you say eugene is your twin brother but i've seen in your editing skills and precise camera work as as well as the thoughts and hints from other Yugi tubers that could uh, there be something more mischievous going on behind the scenes that the fans may or may not have already figured out oh my gosh no that, that's what's funny is you guys don't know my real name you don't know anything about me I'm just Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus or Yugi no no or Yugi yes yes or maybe maybe sometimes sometimes whatever pronoun I decided to <laughs> But um, those questions uh, posed are not uh, built to be answered, only speculated, as the conspiracy of uh, psychological meddling is much more entertaining than the unearthing of these conspiracies. I only uh, hope, they, the, hope the cards I sent you uh, to, to you keep uh, bring you at least a small amount of nostalgia, as one in particular plagued my uh, early uh, Yu-Gi-Oh career as my eldest brother played um, as many of it as he could in his 122-card deck. That's a deck, dude. And oh boy, did I infuri it infuriate me when I saw that thing flip upwards and ruin my perfect plans. I'm sure with the case study of cards I, I sent you as well as the contents of this letter that you have a, a 
caught it's quite a glimpse of my personality when it comes to dueling as my prime uh, of Yu-Gi-Oh! Of Yu -Gi -Oh! Uh, playing was in whatever format. Sylvans were cons uh, considered a tier negative one. Wasn't that like earlier hat format, I want to say? Uh, something like that. I know I know around the time you're talking about it was like around the time of hat format or before it or something like that I know I know exactly what you're talking what you're talking about But yes guys believe it or not there was a, a point in Yu-Gi-Oh where Sylvans of all things were technically the best deck in the game Not playing not even playing uh, my play style however was uh, somewhat um, Devolved from the uh, spasmatic combo heavy variants of synchro spam and XC spam Sylvans to more um, control based decks like counter fairy uh, weather painter and dinosaur the latter being a uh, the Debatable as a control deck. However, I do not I do not limit uh, my mind to the simplistic as I have um, Decks like pendulum magician albeit in pieces world chalice and electromagnetic warrior sending around Sincerely a broke budget semi casual player Austin dude. Thank you so much for writing That was actually a really 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 good letter and thank you so much for typing that it does make it a lot easier Even though I still messed up a lot <laughs> but, Dude, I would definitely sign all these and get them back to you, but let's see what they are first So um, I will um, you know what I will be uh, really you know what since I'm gonna have to be super super careful with these um, I will try to hold on now so let's see how gentle I can be. I uh, wouldn't pay to send cards for Yu-Gi-No -No to sign without these. What is this? Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! Dude, exactly. You know what's up. You know what's up. Dude, Cyber Dragon Infinity, Mega Fleet. Yeah, if you guys have a special request for me to like treat cards like extra, extra careful, I will absolutely treat them extra, extra careful. And you just have to put that, you know, put that in there because like I don't always, like, I'm basically like, I mean, I, I don't treat my cards bad, but I, I treat cards like how I treat my cards, you know what I mean? But if you guys want me to be extra, extra careful, just say so and then I'll be extra, extra careful. But Sylvan Hermitry, probably a place of that in there yeah a place that have a sylvan hermitry let's see what else this has in it man this is just crazy do all the stuff did you send your whole sylvan deck no ultimate conductor tyranno sacred air knight parshath from the new uh structure deck let's see what this all this is man what is oh dude totally awesome the weather painter rainbow that is really cool from spirit warriors that is way cool the secret rare and totally awesome is another really cool secret rare oh man that is awesome Get the pun. <laughs> it's totally awesome. And then keep me. Well, thank you very, very much. Let's see what this, what these are. So keep me. Get that out of there. What do we got here? The thirteenth grave. That's an old one. Uh, Kam Kam Kamutoko. Kamutoko. Um, that one's really weird. I do remember that from LOB though. Thirteenth grave. Uh, Tai Hone. That, that that this card is so bad, guys. <laughs> it's like this card is terrible. And then um, Dark World Thorns. Um, believe it or not, um, I actually really really like this card because it's like really obscure. Because it's like this. I mean, it's technically a Dark World card because it's like, but it's really old. It's like a Dark World card that's not a Dark World card, but it's named Dark World. So like it makes me feel like this is like in the same universe as like the other Dark World cards, but this was LOB. So I, I don't know, I don't know. Just uh, just go with it, guys. Go with it. Uh, Beaver Warrior, and then hey, that's a that's a rare Hain Hain. That's an LOB rare Hain Hain. That is really sweet. That's actually really awesome, dude. Thank you so much for the cards. Um, thank you so much for the stuff to sign. Thank you so much for the letter, dude. I will definitely sign these and uh, carefully and send them back your way. Um, thank you so much for writing again. You know what? Let's do uh, another package. This one looks like it's from Germany. So uh, this one is from uh, Kais Sali. Um, I'm probably butchering that, but yeah, definitely from Germany because it says Deutsch Post, so definitely from Germany. Uh, let's open this up and see what's in here. So this is really, really bizarre. So there's all this stuff. What is what is all this? So <laughs> what is all this? So two so two cards to keep and enjoy. Okay, so there's everything out of that. Um, some kind of. Uh, Dear Yugi Noto, it's that old guy from Germany again. I've uh, sent you some cards to keep and a special surprise for Eugene and yourself. Keep up the good um, good work. I think I do remember this guy, actually. Yeah, because this guy, is, you sent me comics, right? I'm pretty sure this is the same guy that sent me comics before. I still have those. Uh, P.S. Uh, I hope you'll never... Um, Never something my magazine. I hope you never uh, Never something like the letter W it looks like I hope you never something my magazine whatever that means dude I will what, what, what is all this what, so what okay, so Whoa, okay, so there's like What is all this so there's like this cardboard 
Man, I am so confused right now. I am so lost, man. So what? what is this, dude? What did you send me even? It's like a, some kind of action figure thing. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Oh no, I lost a staff. Oh, there he is. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, what? This is like a weird dark magician toy. What is, th that is crazy. What is this other one? What, what, for Yugi Nono, -No, AKA Yugi Jesus. And this thing's kind of a pain to get apart for sure. Oh my gosh. This looks like it's gonna be Jinzo or something. Let's see if I'm right. This looks like it's totally gonna be Jinzo, but I don't know. I think it's, I, I don't know, I can't really tell. By his feet, it looks like Jinzo to me. I don't know, you tell me. Yeah, I'm totally right, it's Jinzo. He's just kind of a pain to get out of this packaging. Oh my gosh, there we go. Oh dude, he's even got the helmet on. That's really cool. Wow, these are actually really awesome. Where did you get these? These gotta, these have to be really old. Wow. Uh, Dark Magician doesn't really stand up on his own very well, but man, Jinzo does. That is way awesome. So you, you're the guy from Germany that either sent me the comics or the or the Joey action figure, or maybe you sent me both, and I, you know, I'm mixing up two two occasions as being one. I don't know. So we have these. What? Man, dude, the, thing, the mystery this keeps getting more and more intriguing. Awesome deck. What <laughs> version one? What is this? Am I gonna get trolled? Is this gonna be beams? No! Ooh, these are cool. That is way sick. That is a, wow. That is a German Xerian universe. That is way cool. And the ink on it looks amazing. It looks darker. That is awesome. Thank you so much. You guys did not know uh, European cards are darker. If I remember correctly, it's because they're not, they are not made on recycled paper, like recycled cardboard. Wow, Ties of the Brethren. Spiral uh, drone, dude. Wow, that is sick. Dude, thank you so, so much for sending these. Thank you so much for the cool action figures, man. Um, if you are the one that sent me uh, the Joey, the Joey is seriously like right over here on my shelf. Um, and these guys will uh, keep them company. Once again, I'm terrible with names. I remember, you know, what, you know, wh what and when people send me stuff, but I'm just, I'm terrible, terrible with names. But dude, thank you so, so, so much for sending this. I, I'm, I'm speechless right now. It looks like I have enough battery for one more. So we'll do one more. And uh, what, what better way to end fan mail as always. Um, the, the best way to end fan mail, guys, is to open up one from our Fan Mail Monday champion, Chris Bushka. So let's go ahead and see what he has to say in this one today. Although I think I have another one from him somewhere. I know I have another one from Anthony. I guess I'll have to open that one tomorrow or something. Oh, gosh. I got so much stuff, guys. I got so much stuff. It's insane. You guys are bad men. Like, oh, my gosh. Thank you all so much. You're crazy. Um, hey, you, hey, no, no. Busy week. Hope yours wasn't too busy. Um, mine was weird. Uh, all of your uh, Jerry Beans men skits were really funny. Tried to find more Jerry Beans meant for you but couldn't find any um, hopefully somebody has responded to my cry out to the paper mats i haven't uh, checked the comment section yet um someone actually did comment um i think um are you excited about the uh, kaiba collection um so this was sent uh, before the legendary collection uh, collection kaiba or like around the same time then i'm um, hoping everyone is using protection <laughs> with the like button from chris bushka dude um legendary collection kaiba is a big deal like those those reprints are really really sick um and just dude that was, that was a hell of a way to end it just with the chris Chris Bushka, uh, a late letter, uh, I mean, with, with you know, me being gone a week, what, a, what better way to end, <laughs> to end this weird fan mail Monday? Uh, thank you, I just want to thank you guys uh, so much for, for sticking around and, um, and uh, you know, liking the channel, uh, watching my videos, and just and just everything. Like, you guys are the best. You seriously are the best. You send me the coolest stuff. That, I mean, I like, I'm serious. Like, I was, I was doing that video, you know, someone mentioned the interview with CBIT earlier, and I'm pretty sure in that interview or when I was talking to him, maybe before or after, I know I said it to him at some point, maybe in, a, in, a, in the interview or maybe before or after don't know don't remember but um i did i told the guy i was like seriously some of the coolest stuff i have in my entire Yu-Gi-Oh collection is from fans like my i mean like no i think i said and i mean it like no my coolest stuff in my Yu-Gi-Oh collection the more i think about it the coolest stuff in my Yu-Gi-Oh collection is from you guys like i mean i have i mean i have some cool stuff don't get me wrong but like do i have like these like i i never even thought i mean i don't even know where to get a jinzo you know what i mean like where do you even go about getting this stuff that's what i'm saying like you guys like seriously have sent me the some of the coolest stuff in my collection Collection is just insane, you guys. You guys are all nuts. You're all madmen, and, and I'm, I'm forever in your debt. You guys are so amazing. Thank you all so much for watching. We have a lot of catching up to do this week. Oh my gosh, so much catching up to do. But until then, guys, until then, be sure to dick slap that like button and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>